Hello everybody, and today we are gonna talk about the Lamper metric empirical Bayes method for loss model. And before we start this topic today, uh, let's uh, finish, continue finish the, the the topic we discussed yesterday, which is uh, a par parametric Bayes method. Uh, let's finish it real, real quick. We have only one question left, then we will start the topic today. So this question is uh, question 24. You are given the probability that an insured will have exactly one claim is theta. And the prior distribution of theta is like this. Uh, a randomly chosen insured is observed to have exactly one claim. We need to determine the posterior probability that theta is greater than 0 0.6. So for this question, what we need to find is uh, is a posterior probability. So this is question 24. Okay, now we solve it. What do you need? What do you need to find? We need to find p theta is greater than 0.6 uh, in the condition that there is one claim. What is this? So we know this equals to the integration of theta. If we say and uh, this is a uh, theta, is x equals to one d theta. Theta is from 0 0.6 to infinity. And we know here the maximum value for theta is 1. So we integrate from 0 to uh, 0 0.6 to 1. So what if we can find this density, this uh, this function, then we can find the integration of this function and the problem will be solved. That's a basic idea. So now we need to find this uh, uh, posterior x equals to 1 so according to the Bayes formula we can write this as x equals to 1 theta and the pi theta divided by p x equals to 1 so and the p x to x equals to 1 uh, it is a marginal probability so we can integrate we can integrate the the joint distribution of x and uh, theta, which is times pi theta. Uh, yeah, this is the joint distribution and d theta from from the uh, domain of theta, which is one to zero, uh, zero to one. So, and uh, here equals to one. This condition. This is given by the by the condition one of the question. Uh, in the condition theta x exactly equals to 1 the probability is theta so this is theta and the pi theta is already given the density is like this and then we integrate this 0 to 1 exactly this function which is simplified in this way d theta so now it's a 2 theta uh, two, uh, 3 over 2 3 over 2 and then one, 0 to 1 2 3 theta 3 over 2 d theta so this integration if we integrate it it will be 2 over 3 over 2 then uh, theta 5 over 2 5 over 2 theta is from 0 to 1 so it's uh, let's see this will be theta 3 over 2 this 3 over 2 cancelled so this will be 2 over 5 then uh, it's a 1 minus 0 so it's 2 over 5 over 2 theta 3 over 2 let's check it so here is a 3 over 2 then uh, 0 so 5 2 over 5 if flip it 1 over 1 minus 0 and uh, I think uh, there's no problem that's it now uh, 5 over 2 okay so this is uh, this density this posterior what we need to find is so p the answer is p theta greater than 0 0.6 in condition x equals to 1 then we integrate it from 0 0.6 to 1 we just plug in here 3 over 2 d theta so this will be uh, 5 over 2 then theta 5 over 2 divided by 5 over 2 0 0.61 
integrate so this will be cancelled so it's 1 minus 0 0.6 5 over 2 which equals to let's uh, calculate this and this will be the final answer okay we open the calculator so um, let's see what's a uh, 1 minus 0 0.6 1 minus 0 0.6 the power of 5 over 2 this is uh, 0 0.7211 okay now we're finished we finish this question then let's start the topic today the lump and metric empirical base method uh, we look at uh, Question. Question twelve. So you're given the total claims for two policy holders, which is uh, this. Using the non parametric empirical base method, determine the boom and credibility premium for policy holder Y. So we need to find the boom and credibility premium for policy holder Y. Okay, for this kind of question, so first we need to know which which model it is. Uh, we need to determine the model by the structure of the data. So this is the uh, Boorman model, Boorman credibility model, because we, we, we can, we know that from the the data structure. The general data structure is like this for the uh, for this kind of problem. It's uh, x one uh, one x two one two x one j x one n. Then we have x i one x i two x i j x i n. Then we have x r one xr2 xrj xrn it's a uh, you see for here r equals to 2 n equals to 4 it's for example this is x12 this is x uh, this this is x22 two, two. this is x23 so this is a general form of this kind of uh, data you have this kind of uh, structure the data this kind of form. So the general formula for this problem, you know, uh, we need to find the the uh, boom and credibility premium. So we need to use this formula: z times x plus uh, one minus d times mu. So we all need to estimate those those values. And we know z equals to m divided by uh, m plus k. Or we can use this is a uh, need to be estimated. And k equals to v divided by a. And you know that uh, so the problem is uh, so we need to estimate mu, v, and a. So cap mu equals to the average of all the values, which is r times n summation from i, I summation i from one to r, then summation j from one to n x i x j summation summated and divided by the total number that's the average value of x or i j then we need to find uh, v so the estimation of v is we use this formula 
actually we have already proved these formulas uh, in the previous lecture here we just need to use it actually even in the exam you don't need to uh, know about uh, it's okay if you don't know about the proof you just need to rem rem remember memorize these formulas that's still okay this is a formula mm, sigma i from 1 to r sigma j from 1 to n x i j minus x i this means the average value of the i's, i's group or the i's row for example the average value of uh, of this row is x i x i bar that's the average value of the ith uh, data group then a cap is uh, let's see it's r minus 1 sigma i from 1 to r then x i bar minus x that's a total value actually this is just mu cap that's a total average then minus v divided by n let's see if uh, something wrong or not okay let's check this formula Okay, we are right. Then then to to find we need what we need uh, to do is just to find those values uh, according to the data for this problem. So we can say this is x1, this is x2. Because it's first row, second row. And uh, we, we what we need to find is just uh, like this. Mm. Let's see. So here, in this problem, we need to find Z times X two plus uh, one minus Z cap times mu cap. So X two equals to the average value of a policy holder Y, which is this number. The average value we just sum it together and divide it by four. Let's see what's this value. It's 655 plus 650 plus 625 plus 750 divided by 4. It's 670. Okay, then mu is the average value of x, y, the total average, which is actually we can do it in this way because they have the same number so then when you find uh, the x1 which is a uh, average value of policy holder y okay so the average value of policy holder y is 7 800 700 divided by 4 so what's this value? It's seven thirty plus eight hundred plus five six five zero seven zero zero divided by four, which is seven seven hundred twenty. Then seven twenty plus. Divided by two. Okay, so the total average is this number. Okay. 
Now we got already got Mew. Then let's figure out uh, V. V equals to R M minus one. Sigma I equals Sigma J from one to N X I X J minus X I bar. And here you know R equals to two we have two rows. N equals to four, we have four columns. So we have two times four minus one is three. Okay, then we submit it. The first subtraction is seven. This number subtract the the average value of first row, which is x one bar minus this number. Then second number minus the average. Third number minus average. Fourth number minus the average. Then to the second row. First number minus the average of the second row. Second number minus average. Third number minus the average. The fourth number minus the average. So this is a V. Let's see what's this number. So it's a 1 divided by 6 times uh, 730 minus 720 square plus okay plus 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 800 the second number is 800 third number is 650 then 700 okay then we have 655 then we have 650 but this time we subtract with a uh, a different number which is 7 uh, 670 then six to five matters six seventy then seven five zero matters six seventy I think that's it but uh, there's some problem there's some problem or not 1 over 6 plus 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 let's check it oh yes here is a sorry here is a 7200 uh, 720 the average value plus 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 Okay. This is V. Then let's figure out A cap. The A cap is we already have the formula R minus one. I from one to R. minus V over N. So here it equals to um, R is 2 2 minus 1 then the first row average is uh, this number minus the total average this number plus the second row the total average then minus this value divided by 4 let's see what's a result what's a value 
it's 720 minus 695 squared plus minus minus divided by 4 this is 8 if I'm uh, if I didn't calculate it wrong that says this is 8 okay once we have V cap a cap then we have K cap which is uh, let's see okay which is V cap over A cap so K equals to V divided by A 9.11 Okay. Then the next Z cap equals to N plus N is a uh, N is four here. Four plus. So this is Z. Once we have Z, we have everything. So it's four. 4 plus this is Z then times Y X2 which is this number Y prime minus Z then times mu cap this number okay let's see let's see what's a, what's a result 4 plus 9.1148 times plus 1 minus 1 minus this value times 6 line 5 okay we have 687.3 that's the credibility premium for policy holder Y. So the final answer should be C. Let's check it. Okay, we're right. So the next question, the next question will be question 38. So the question 38, let's find the question. Here, here we are. Here we go. Question 38. So a insurer has data on notes for four policy holders for seven years. Uh, the loss from the ith policy holder for J year is denoted by xij. You are given this value and this value using non-parametric empirical base estimation to calculate the policy holder. Uh, the Bowman credibility factor for an individual policy holder. So attention, we need to be careful. What we need to find is not the Bowman credibility premium, but the Bowman credibility factor, which means we just need to find a Z. Okay. So for this question, question thirty-eight. Question 38. 
Using non-parametric empirical base estimator, we need to find is to find z. And you know, z, okay, z cap, because uh, it's all estimation. It's n, n plus k. So here, n is seven, because we have seven years data. And the R, we have how many rows? How many policy holders? We have four. Four rows are in the uh, imagine the data structure, you know. It's policy holder one, policy holder two, policy holder three, policy holder four. And each policy holder will have uh, seven years data. So, so K, okay, K cap equals to V divided by A. And we know that V, estimation of V, um, according to our formula, let's rem memorize it again. It's 1. Okay, the formula for V cap, 1 divided by R times N minus 1, summation from I to R, summation from 1 to N, then XIJ minus Matters x i bar. So, <coughs> so here you see the summation is already given. So this is easy. Just plug in. Then r is seven. I'm sorry, r is four. N is seven. So this value is. Uh, Anyway, we can calculate it. We have this value. Then a prime. Okay, let's memorize the formula again. It's one over r minus one. Then sigma i from one to r. X i bar minus x bar square minus v divided by n. And you know the problem is already given us this one. So R is four minus one times three point three then minus V divided by N. So this value is uh let's let's do it. It's three three point six divided by four divided by six. It's one point four. And this one is one minus one divided by one point four divided by two. Or one point one divided by zero point uh, two is zero point nine. So K is a uh, one point four divided by one point nine is this value. So we have Z prime equals to so what is n here? n. I think n is 4. What's the meaning of n? n is the number for historic data. Okay, this is n. I think it's 4. Uh, for a complete factor for an individual policy holder. For individual policy holder, we have 7 years data. Okay, n is 4. n is 7, I'm sorry. Seven, seven years data. Okay, so this is a. Uh, let's find this value. Seven plus fourteen divided by nine. It's zero point eight one eight two. Is it right? Let's check it. Yes, we are right. No problem. Then we look at the last question. find it 100 147 145 this question is starting different you're given the following commercial uh, automobile policy experience the number 
first year, second year. Uh, here you see, uh, we have losses. The first year we have so many losses, and the number of automobiles is here. It's different data. This is the previous one is like the Boomer credibility. This is uh, similar to the Boomer drop credibility model because we have a. Uh, this data is a group of data, it's not just one data. We have 100 data here, you see. And uh, we have this table. We need to determine the number metric empirical base credibility factor Z for company 3. Okay. So this is a kind of new question. And we need to use a new formula. Okay. Question. Question one four five. Question one forty five. Let's do this question. So the general form of this kind of problem is, uh, we need to figure out. So, uh, as far as I know. For the lamp parametric empirical base estimation, we have two kind of problem. The first kind is just like what I told, uh, I dis we discussed before. That kind of problem is uh, for the Boomer credibility model. The data structure is like this. This is the data structure. You have x. Okay, first row, second row. There are different numbers. But here, for if we have a data structure like the Boomer drop credibility model which is like this we have <coughs> x1j x1j again x1j again then we have x2j which means we have m1j we have totally m1j uh, xij we have how many how many x1j x1j we have m i j this number of x i j it's uh it's the same data then we have uh the diff the second the the, the next group oh i'm sorry this is x i j plus one then x i j plus one all the way to uh to x i n i Totally, we have NI groups. We have NI groups data. Or NI different group of data. Groups data. So, totally in this group, we have uh, M11 plus M12, all the way plus M, M1, mm, M, M, M1. Actually, it's, this is M1. NI is for the asterisk row. N1 is for the first row. So this for first policy holder. The only difference is, you know, bet between the Boomer's drop and Boomer credibility is that, that the, the, the Boomer's drop credibility model, the data structure is different. They have the same data repeated again and again. This is like a group of data. They are the same data. But uh, they are in the same uh, in the, for the for the same um, policy holder. So this is the first row, and then we have the second row. Uh, this is I row. This is policy holder one. This is policy holder I. We have X I J. X I J again. X I J again. How many we have? We have so many. X I M I J. Then x i j plus one. Okay. Then x i last one is last group is this. We have n i groups. So the last row, this is policy holder r. We have r. You can say r rows or r uh, policy holders. So we have a x r j xrj again xrj again how many we have 
we have m i j m r j m r j plus one m x r n okay now it's n r how many groups we have we have n r groups so you see the group the number of groups can be different but in boom and credibility it's all n that means uh, the length of the vector for the boom and credibility is, you see it's the same it's all n but here it can be different this is like a boom and screw credibility model and the formula to find v is is here uh, we need to use this formula sigma i from 1 to r sigma j from 1 to n i x i x i j minus x i bar divided by sigma i from 1 to r n i minus 1 so this is v a is m minus m power of negative 1 1 i is from 1 to r m i square then power of minus 1 times sigma i from 1 to r m i x i bar minus x bar m minus v times r minus 1 ok where m is a summation of every summation of every m i j m i is summation of the j s row m i j ok so for this problem for this problem when you find x i j is already given x i bar when you calculate it ok we just uh, do this question Okay, just remember this uh, data. Uh, copy this data. And then, then let's figure out all the values, all the variables here. So we have x one one equals to five hundred uh, fifty thousand divided by one hundred. This is. Uh, 500 x this x11 one one. and how many we have m11 one one is 100 we have 100 of this data then Then we have x21. Uh, we have x12 equals to 50,000 divided by 200, which is uh, 250. M12 equals to 200. Then x21. 1 equals to this number divided by this number is cancelled 300 m 2 1 equals to 500 x 2 2 equals to this number divided by this number which is 500 m22 is 
300. So from here we can have x x1 bar x1 bar the average value of the first policy holder is 100 is 100,000 divided by 300 which is 333.33 okay from here we can have x2 bar 300,000 divided by 800 let's see what's this value this number divided by this number okay 375 then we have x31 equals to this number divided by this number which is uh that's what we cancel which is uh three thousand so m three one equals to fifty then x three two is this number divided by this number so this will be one thousand. M three two is one fifty. So X three bar is X three bar three hundred thousand divided by two hundred, which is this number okay then we need to figure out because here we have a uh, X bar so the total average the total average is uh, we add it together it's the first row the first row how many lots we have we have 100 thousand plus the second Plus the third okay, this comma divided by the total number of claims a total number of automobiles three hundred plus eight hundred plus two hundred let's see what's this average value zero 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 plus Three five zero plus three one two three four five divided by three hundred plus eight hundred plus two hundred. Okay, that's a value. One five. Okay, we have this value. Then then I think we can calculate it now. And you know N1, how many we have? We have two. N2 is two. N3 is two. So, and uh, R equals to three. I think that's everything. What do we need here is do next is just plug in the value and uh, Calculate out. Okay. Now let's do the computing. Let's do the computation. So we have the estimation of V is the denominator. is 2 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 then 
x one one five hundred matters the average value of x one one x one j which is three 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 point three three square and x one two two fifty matters this value then plus x two one x21 oh I'm sorry I miss mij here it should times mij in this formula let's check yes you need a times mij Otherwise, you will. Uh, this is the right formula. If it without MIJ, that's wrong. Because the data is repeated MIJ times. So here we need the times 100. Here we need times 100. And here, oh, this is 200. Because MI12 is 200. You see? Then M21 is 500 times. 300 minus this number the average then uh, 300 times 500 minus the average plus plus 50 3000 minus the average okay plus 150 then uh, 1000 minus this okay this is a uh, V let's see what's this value it's 1 divided by 3 times 100 times 500 matters square plus okay 1 2 3 4 5 so it's 200 next time 250 500 Three hundred, three seven five. Then three hundred, three seven five. Plus fifty, three thousand. Minus one fifty hundred. Then 150, 1000, matters, 150, 100. Okay, that's a total value. Eight line times the ten power. Of, that's the total value. Name. Let's calculate A using this formula. So it's M. What is M? We first we find M here. M we sub just submit all together. One hundred plus two hundred plus five hundred plus three hundred plus fifty plus one fifty. 300 300 600 ah, let's just uh, add it together 300 plus 500 plus 300 plus 200 okay 1300 
So we have 300 Metis 300 Then Let's And we have M1 We need to find M1 M1 equals to uh, 300 M2 equals to 800 M3 equals to just this 2 200 Okay So this will be 300 square okay. 300 square plus 800 square plus 200 square okay power of minus 1 okay times then 300 square x1 bar is this number x bar is this number square plus m1 bar m2 bar 800 oh let's see we don't have this square here let me check yeah, we have no, we have no square, and no square. Using this formula, this square here, this square here. Okay, then, then we have. See what we have next. X two bar. X two bar. This number matters. Total average. Plus, so the next uh, number is uh, 200. This, oh, sorry, what am I doing? X3 bar. This should be the right number. Okay. So this is the first part of the formula. Then we minus V times R minus one. What is R? R is three. So it's a uh, three minus one. Okay, let's calculate this number. See what's uh, this value. Minus power of negative one. Times square plus square plus square power of minus one times three hundred times three 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 point three three minus five three eight point four six one five square plus this one and this one so next number is eight hundred three seven five and next number is two hundred one five zero zero okay matters matters this number times don't forget times 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 three minus one that's a one point five seven zero four times power of ten so we have k k equals to v divided by a so it's this number divided by this number 
Okay. Oh. V divided by A. It's not A divided by V. Okay. 343.1546. And uh, here. M equals to 2. So. Z equals to M. M plus K. Okay. In this question, M, M equals to, you see, for the company three, we have two hundred. Actually, M equals to, you know, it's a, M, three one plus N three two. Or actually, it's a N three. This should be N three because the total number of the, uh, the historical data. So here we need uh, attention here, or you can use M. I mean, you'd better use M because M will be uh, will make confusion, you know. Or you can use M three because we we are talking about company three, so it's two hundred. Then two hundred plus this number. This is Z. So it's 200. 200 plus 343 three, 15. It's 0 0.3682. This means that we put this this much credibility to the historical data. How much we trust if we say one is complete trust, zero is complete not trust. So this means we c we trust the historical data so much, and uh, the rest part. One subtract this, we subtract it. We we s we trust the. Uh, we trust the 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 empirical distribution, and uh, we trust the the historical data so much. That's it. That's all we. Uh, we need talk for the, for this lecture. Uh, if you have any question about this lecture, about this topic, uh, just leave me comments. And I will reply you. Thanks. See you. See you next time.